Hey guys, this is Richard from Reese.com. Thank you for joining me on the show floor of a Reaper Blues at Orlando 2025. And I'm here in ATI's booth with my friend Greg. Greg, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. How are you today, man? Good to see you again. Likewise. Thank, first of all, thank you for having me here. Absolutely. And Thanks for coming. We have, this booth actually has been extremely busy today. I can see the reason why, because this fixture over here behind me, can you tell us a little bit about this? So this is the ATI Stratton Pro. Yes. This is the brand new Gen 2 version of the Stratton Pro. Right. So just got released about three months ago. Right. And it's an upgraded and changed LED configuration over the original Stratton Pro, which came out about two years ago. Yeah. You know, and then just because we have a lot of viewers that's not exposed to this fixture yet, I wanted to touch on this product from the Gen 1. Yeah. I really liked how thin everything was. And I really liked that because this is passive cooled. A lot of the LEDs in the market, they have fans, right? And fans is actually one additional point of failure because if you don't clean up the fans and if you get lazy and you know it's like me lazy reefer and then it could damage the diodes as well as the board and it's just like i said one more point of failure and i like right. the approach that you guys don't have any fans correct correct and i also like how thin you guys have it correct so it's made of one big piece of aluminum right and as, as you said like it's barely warm here i mean yeah. you can literally leave your hand on top right. of these things yeah so it's all passively cooled and then, as you mentioned too, the form factor is unlike anything else out in the market. Right. It's a much larger form factor, so it's a much larger fixture than right. is out there currently. And they get enormous or, or incredible spread out of the light by spreading the LEDs out over the entire part of the fixture. So right. compared to most other lights on the market, yeah. most of those lights are going to be clustered right in certain portions of the fixture. Right. Where with the ATI Stratton, the lights are literally from edge to edge of the fixtures. So you get lights all the way across from left to right and from front to back, yeah. getting you much more even distribution of lights. Right. So much more uniform light, obviously. And then the output is phenomenal as well, right? So right. the efficiency and the output of this light and the uniform distribution of that light is unlike anything else on the market. Right, because like you say, like anything, like, you know, it's not like anything in the market. Only passive cool designs that I've seen, they all have like a uniform type of wing or not like, you know, even wings just right. to disperse the heat. And I'm just really surprised that how you guys were able to achieve it. So it's right? it's one big piece of aluminum that's kind of milled or like or routed out, right? Yeah. So when it that big piece of aluminum absorbs all that extra heat. Yeah. The other the other thing with the heat dispersion, right? Because the LEDs are spread out over right. the entire part of the housing, right? Yeah. They're not clustered together. So the heat is then spread out over the entire part of the fixture as well, right? So those those two factors there, both the, the material yeah. and how it's built, but then the distribution of the LEDs right. throughout the entire fixture help keep that thing cool. Gotcha. So Tell me, what is the difference between the Gen 1 and Gen 2? Because so, outside-wise, it looks very right, similar. Exactly. Aesthetics, there's really no difference. The, the yeah. change really between Gen 1 and Gen 2 is just in the LED configuration. Sure. So with Gen 2, they've added blues to the scenario. Sure. And they've removed some of the UV. They've removed some of the white and a few of the other LEDs to get you a bluer spectrum. Got and it. that's done a couple things. One, it's given people that blue look or that additional blue look. They really kind of crave and, and, and are looking for. Right. And then number two, it's increased the efficiency because the blue LEDs are a little bit more efficient than some of the yeah. other LEDs we've taken as well, taken away as well. So you're telling me after we're taking out the white white diodes that's on there and UV diodes, but adding the new additional uh, blues, you're getting more par, not losing any par, but you're getting correct, more? Correct, correct, right. Yeah, okay. so something like a UV, right, it's not gonna have a whole lot of par output right. for it. So by replacing a, a UV with a blue, right. you're increasing your, your par that way. So you were talking about efficiencies earlier. Like, so what's the efficiency difference between the Gen 1 and Gen 2? Uh, so about a 6% difference. The Gen 2 is a little bit about 6% more efficient mm -hmm. uh, than the Gen 1. Again, just because of the change right. to more of the blue, blue spectrum LEDs. Gotcha. And how much does these lights cost? So you got two different, or sorry, not two different sizes, excuse me, three, three different, different sizes. sizes. You right. got the 102, yeah. uh, which goes for about 1180 and change. Yeah. I got the 153, which is what you see here, which yeah. is the middle size, and that's right. uh, 1557 and change. Yeah. And then you've got the larger size, which is one additional panel, so it's again one more section on top of this, yeah. and that's 1918 and change. Now, if people are like watching this video and then they have a question, like, why should I choose this over other, you know, like LED fixtures in the market? What would be the your answer to that? Well, I would say two things, right? I think mm -hmm. aesthetics, yeah. like this is gonna look like nothing else that's on the market. It looks really sharp over a top of the tank. Mm -hmm. And then number two, performance, right? Yeah. So the, the output of the light is gonna be significantly better than most of the other fixtures on the market. The distribution of the light is gonna be much more even than most LEDs on the market as well. Mm -hmm. And then the efficiency of the light, the how much energy you're actually pulling from the wall yeah. is gonna be much better than most other LEDs on the market, right? So you're really yeah. winning on the performance front 
from multiple standpoints in terms of both output, yeah. again, efficiency, right. and light distribution. A much right. more even distribution of light than, again, most other things that are on the market nowadays. If I were to add one more thing, I would say the price, right? Because if you're looking at it, because the size of the, the fixture is so large, right? So instead right, of just sure. using two or more fixtures, you could get away by using one, right? Yeah, potentially, depending obviously on the dimensions of the tank, right? So, you know, the 102 is going to be great for tanks that are 24 inches wide, which is pretty standard mm -hmm. uh, in this hobby. But then when you get to the bigger fixtures, the 153 and the 204. Yeah. So 153 really can easily handle tanks that are 30 inches wide. Mm -hmm. And then the 204 can handle tanks that are, you know, bare minimum 36 inches wide. So yeah. for tanks that are really large, for example, that 204, you know, where potentially back in the days you would have to run like two rows right. of light, LED light fixtures. Yeah. That 204 with one row potentially can cover that entire tank for you. So significantly less fixtures to cover, especially on those larger tanks. Gotcha. Uh, and then when you talk to more like, if you got like more of like a square tank, like a 36 by 36, yeah. that could easily be illuminated by one 153 or one, yeah. one 204, right? Yeah. As opposed to having to run multiple fixtures. So yeah, in, that, in those scenarios for sure, yeah. you're purchasing a lot less fixture or numbers of fixtures, so your dollar investment up front's gonna be less. And then obviously and your energy usage and, and upkeep right. and all that stuff's gonna be less as well. So yeah. it's a win both fronts. Gotcha. One thing that was really cool and fascinating for me was that when I was here a little bit earlier, you're showing me the app that the light kind of estimates how much power that, that is it's outputting. Yeah, Can you show sure. me that on Absolutely. the app real Let me quick? show that right now. So right now we're running at about 50%. Mm -hmm. And if you look here up here in the top left-hand corner, it's going to give you estimates at different heights throughout the tank. Mm -hmm. And again, we're running at about 50%. So if you ramp this thing all the way up, at 30 centimeters, you're going to be probably pretty close to 900 par or mm -hmm. more. Um, and then obviously it's going to drop down as you get deeper in the tank. But again, the numbers coming out of this fixture are incredible, the amount of light. Gotcha. And yeah. then how did they come up with that equation? So that data is actually pulled from like real data. So they actually took the lights, put them over real tanks, mm -hmm. and then went through par meters and got all the data and accumulated that together. And gotcha. then that converted that into a formulation to be able to estimate what the, the par levels are in each person's tank. Gotcha. All right, Greg. Well, thank you so much for showing your new light. This looks very promising. I really like how everything looks. I can't wait to put my hands on one and test it out for our viewers at home. Yes. You guys, if you guys are in the market for a brand new light, be sure to check out ATI Stratton Pro 2, Gen 2. Gen 2, for because sure. Because they're absolute beast of a light. I mean, you have to be here to see the crowd that this booth is getting. Well, sure. Greg, thank you so much once again, and you guys have a great show. Yeah, man, I'll appreciate see, I'll it. I'll catch you on the next time. Yep.